Hello, I'm Dr. Mitchell Grayson, professor and chief of the Division of Allergy and Immunology, Department of Pediatrics at Nationwide Children's Hospital and The Ohio State University, a fellow of the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, and a board-certified allergist. Today, I'd like to talk to you about what you can do to prevent allergies from developing. The single biggest thing you can do to prevent allergies from developing is to pick your parents wisely. Okay, all kidding aside, the development of allergies does have a strong genetic component. And kids who have one parent with allergies have around a 40 to 60% chance of having allergies. While having two parents with allergies increases your risk of developing allergic disease to around 80%. Okay, so you can't pick your parents. What else can you do to prevent allergies from developing? Well, if you have an infant, breastfeeding for at least four months has been shown to reduce the development of allergies. And if breastfeeding isn't an option, consider using extensively hydrolyzed formulas. But the data for these is less convincing. Solid foods should be introduced between four and six months of age. And of course, there should be no exposure to tobacco smoke. Speaking of foods, we now know that in infants without any egg allergy and with mild or no eczema, a skin condition sometimes called atopic dermatitis, it is best to introduce peanuts into the diet along with other solid foods around four to six months of age. Once tolerated, peanuts should remain in the diet. Now remember that in this age, a solid peanut is a choking hazard. So use common sense and use peanut butter. For those infants with severe eczema and or an egg allergy, we strongly recommend seeing an allergist for testing. Most of these children will be able to successfully tolerate introduction of peanut, but it is important that testing be done to confirm a lack of an allergy. We don't know if similar recommendations should be provided for other foods. However, we have no reason to believe that other foods would be different. Speaking of eczema, did you know that recent studies suggest that the use of skin moisturizers from birth may reduce the chance that your child will develop the skin disease? Since eczema is associated with the development of allergies, it is possible that preventing eczema might lead to preventing allergic disease. However, at this time, many more studies are still needed to see if this actually occurs. You may be limited in what you can do to prevent allergies, but you can certainly do things to lessen their symptoms should they develop. Controlling exposure to house dust mites and furred animal dander will be beneficial. For house dust mites, use dust mite impermeable mattress and pillow covers and wash your bedding in very hot water, at least 130 degrees Fahrenheit. It also helps to keep the humidity low, below 50%. For furred animals, it is important to keep them out of the bedroom, if not out of the house entirely. You can also wash and change your clothes after playing with the family pet. As I mentioned earlier, it is very important to make sure that you do not smoke or have any exposure to secondhand smoke. If these measures don't prevent the development of allergic disease and you are having allergic symptoms, there is good news. There are many therapies available, such as antihistamines, nasal steroid sprays, and even allergy shots or immunotherapy that can reduce or even eliminate your symptoms. Your local allergist is trained in diagnosing and treating allergies and asthma. He or she has the expertise and the know-how to make your allergy symptoms much less of a burden, even if you can't really prevent the development of the diseases in the first place. There is no reason to suffer from allergies. Go see an allergist today.